That's a good one. That's a good, oh my God. It's a freaking giant. It's a giant, dude. Come here, let's freaking go. What's going on, y'all? Today is a very special day. We get to try out our own brand new lure. This is my lure, it's the Southern Salt Hoodwink. I can't wait to show y'all the lure and also see if we can get out here and catch some fish. We're in an area that's holding a ton of flounder, speckled trout are starting to move in. Might even have a couple of shots at some redfish. So we're gonna get out here, see if we can catch some fish. So the Southern Salt Hoodwink, this is pretty much what it looks like right here. It is a five inch hybrid between a swim bait and a flute it's got a nice little tail a lot of action on it we've prototyped this lure for a pretty good bit this lure is about two years in the making it's about how long it's been since we kind of went on this journey so can't wait to get out here and uh and see what we can do on it oh he's on he's on he's on he's on there we go first fish of the morning I mean, that one locked on. Feels like it could be decent. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh! Lost it. Came off. No clue what that was. I want to say it was a big flounder. We're on. There he is. There we go. That feels like it could be a decent fish. Feeling like a flounder coming right at me. It is. Boat flip. Boom. Well, that is the first flounder here on the hoodwink. All right. I mean, he bit it right on the drop too. Go ahead and pop this dude in the box, throw back in there, and pick us up another one. He's on. There he is. That's a decent one. That's a better feeling fish, I think. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good, oh my God. It's a freaking giant. It's a giant, dude. Oh, my net stuck. No. Yes. My net stuck. Oh, my God. Here we go. Ah. Oh, he's still on. How did I still manage to get this fish? Come here. Come here. Oh, on a freaking hoodwink. Come here. Being easy. Y'all, that is a doggone giant. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let's freaking go. Ugh. Mm. That might be my PB. Holy moly. Woo. Oh my God. Y'all, that is a freaking giant. Y'all, look at that right there. Woo! 22. <laughs> 22. Y'all, that is a doggone stud. Absolute stud of a flounder. I gotta get a picture of this guy on the board. And he, y'all, look. Look what's in his mouth. A freaking hoodwink. Right there. There's no way that guy was getting out. He choked it. Y'all, I am so pumped up right now. All right, girl. Well, I appreciate the fight. Thank you so much. Man, what a, what a flounder, y'all. If I don't catch another fish all day, this one right here will make it. I mean, look. Look how bulged out its belly is. That, that fish has been gorging, probably on pogies or croaker, who knows? Big fat fish right there. Let's go get him and put her on the box. Man, get back in there and throw some more. All right, so the area that we're fishing right here, obviously you see all this little structure along this wall. 
you got a ton of oyster that's budded right up next to it and it's just like a straight drop off which is what i like to target when i'm looking for trout flounder even redfish if i'm targeting like a, a channel i want to be on that sharp ledge right because that ledge that runs along those walls like that or like the seawall and all the oyster that ledge is um that's like the highway right that's the path in which those fish are going to go and travel and then whenever they get hungry they're going to ease up real close to the ledge and catch that bait that's coming off of it oh he's on he's on he's on that's a good one that's another one right there golly they're all over this bait that's a trout is that a trout that's a good speckled trout good trout come here bumping bottom would not expect to hook this guy boom all right it's a solid little speckled trout right there on the hoodwink man it is turning out to be an awesome late morning day i mean there's no doubt the flounder is stacked all over these rock jetties and just all this riffraff right here would not expect to catch a trout right here this time of year it is starting to get colder they are starting to move in but i was bumping really really low and slow to the bottom and a lot of time these guys are feeding higher up in the water column this time of year That might be him right there. We got something. That felt like a flounder. That feels like a flounder, y'all. Staying down. Staying down, staying down. That's a good one. Good fish. Come on around. That's our third flounder in the last 30 minutes. Boom. There we go. Another good one all right another one bites the dust come here dude i appreciate it man dude give my hood wink back golly all right you keep it man souvenir we started playing with molds for this lure about two years ago so this is not not anything that we rushed out to production. We wanted something that was a little bit more unique. Wanted something that glided through the water. Very, very true. I love throwing flukes, y'all know it. But the problem with a fluke is that if you put your hook in a fluke that's a little off center, like mine is right there, right? I'm not dead center of that. If this was a fluke, that lure would be twisting and turning through the water. Well, with that tail right there, we have a north and south rudder on it and then the tail is actually flat and that keeps that lure from twisting through the water so as i'm moving it jigging it up and down that thing is swimming through the water and then on the end of that tail you got a little ball that just displaces a little bit of water it helps it with the kick and uh it's just an awesome awesome little lure uh these are linked down in the description so if y'all want to go over there check them out support us and uh, I'd love to know what y'all think about uh, about the hoodwink. Y'all see it out here. We've caught several nice flounder, a decent trout on it, and I definitely feel like we're not done. He's on, he's on. He's it, there he is. Come here, come here. That's another keeper. That's a good one. Oh, he came off. Bad word. Yep. Yep, that was about 18, 19 inch. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up there. If any of y'all are interested in booking a charter and getting out on the water with us, be sure to check out the Fishing Chaos app. I'm gonna link that down below. All my rates and availability are on there. Uh, but yeah, had a pretty decent day out here throwing the hoodwink, caught three nice flounder, lost a couple more, caught a decent trout, Portia caught her a couple flounder, so 
awesome day out here hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all did hit the like button comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time